When you looked at the film, how'd you kind of create your own performance? I felt like I did well. Um, I felt like I could have been cleaner on some of my responsibilities and just my overall um, playmaking ability and just being more decisive. Uh, so I feel like there's definitely room, room for improvement, but I feel like I, I did okay. Was it a fumble? <sighs> I think it was. <laughs> when I went back and watched the slow-mo, my hand was on the top of the ball. Didn't it look like it was like a tie almost? Like the tie, but the tie went to him, it felt like? Because like you felt like the ball, you had your hand on the ball, right? Yeah, like, my hand was on the ball before he, I thought before he made it forward motion, but. What did the coaches say? Did they, did, they, did they agree with you? Did they say anything about that play? Um, they just said it's a game of inches and, you know, to leave no doubt and, and you know, be that much faster the next time so that you, know, you don't have to go to review. Were you yeah. interested in seeing it on film? Was it, what did it feel like in the moment? Yeah, um, in the moment, I thought I got it. I definitely thought I, I punched it out. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was definitely interested to see what it, what it was. Do you, do you think you guys did a good job that, like, sometimes there's a play like that and the defense might, like, after a play like that call doesn't go your way, might fold a little bit in the second half. You guys pretty much get help in just 13 in the second half. Do you think you guys still respond well after that? Yeah, so, I mean, our attitude is always, you know, respond. Whatever comes our way is what it is, you know, good or bad. We're going to play our defense uh, aggressive and decisive. So, yeah, I think we did a good job with that. Uh, we let up more points than we obviously should have and, um, yeah, I honestly think we could have held him to probably zero, honestly. Um, it was just, yeah, some mistakes on our end. What was it like for you to kind of get back in a rhythm? I mean, I think 61 snaps is like a career high for you. So, I mean, like, I mean, you played a lot. What did it feel like to kind of be in that flow? Yeah, um, it honestly didn't feel like that much. Um, I, I think I was just so locked into the game, but my body definitely started feeling it second half. Uh, my calf started cramping up real bad. So I was on the sideline drinking pickle juice and everything with sodium. Um, but no, it felt fine. I think I was just locked in and on my job and my assignment and you know, trying to win. Does it, I mean, is, does it ever feel like week one just cramping is just, no matter what anybody does, cramping is more of an issue week one, whether it's the eat or it's something's different about games, it's just harder to avoid? I guess I've never cramped before and I think um, this game this past game it was probably one of the hotter games that I played in um, and I guess like what you were saying the snap count was a, a, a tad high I guess um, but I, it was honestly unexpected for me um, there were a few guys I think that started cramping but not it wasn't it wasn't super common had you ever had to drink the pickle juice before? Did you, did oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Every practice I drink pickle you juice do? and Pedialyte. Yeah. That works? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, usually. Yeah. <laughs> it was a hot one, though, on Saturday. Was there anything about your, I guess, entire defense's effort that surprised you on Saturday? Um, I wouldn't say surprise because, I mean, we've been crafting and working for eight months, you know, or you know, since January when everybody got here. Um, but I think it was just kind of exciting to see, like, to see us click and have those, like, flashes of, of really good defense. Um, so now I think the goal is just to be that, that much more consistent um, week to week. So that's, that's our goal, just focusing on us and being as good as we can be. Does it feel like there's as many new faces on the defense as there are? Um, I mean, being a new face, like, not really. Uh, I think we've all kind of meshed pretty well. Uh, we've had a lot of time to get to know each other and um, really build that bond. So I wouldn't say it feels it feels new. It feels like we've been together and we're clicking and communicating well. Yeah. What were your impressions of how Aaron Casey played when you watched the film? I mean, was that pretty good? Um, I mean, it looked like it was the most impactful guy for you guys in terms yeah. of yeah he um he's a very reliable tackler um and just player he's very decisive um, and that's one thing that i'm trying to uh put into my game is just just going just you know shooting it you know trying to make the play um but no yeah he's a he's a great player he knows how to how to weave his way through the line and get a piece of that ball carrier how close are you with nick tumor i'm pretty close with him he's a he's a class below me um but Coming from Stanford, you know, we're fairly 
fairly close. He had his group of guys, I had mine, but we all kind of meshed together. Were there any sort of conversations between you two when both of you guys decided to come here out of the portal? Yeah, so he actually was more decided on, on going because he committed here out of high school, I think. Um, or he was talking in Indiana out of high school. Um, so it was more so he knew he was coming here and I was like just kind of feeling it out. Um, but yeah, we definitely had a lot of conversations about Coach Allen and uh, just the school itself. I know he's playing behind you on, on game days, but how would you kind of assess his performance? Oh, he's, he's doing really well. Um, He's really being physical. He's a long guy. Um, I think he held his own against Marvin Harrison also um, and the rest of the receiving core there. Um, so I think he's doing a good job. Yeah. What was the energy like on the sideline when Fulton made that interception? Oh, man. Uh, so he, he's he been like our leading uh, interception guy in practices. So it's almost like, you know, it was ex not expected, but like, Oh, there's Phil, you know. Um, he's doing it in practice. It just makes sense that it's going to happen in the game. So, um, no, we were, it was electric. You know, we were so excited. We got our um, our takeaway belt uh, from the McMahon family. So, yeah, it was awesome. Takeaway belt? Mm -hmm. Takeaway belt. It's like a, so the McMahon family, um, Declan McMahon, his grandfather is a part of WWE, so they gifted us like a WWE takeaway belt that we hold up for whoever makes an interception, causes a forced fumble, stuff like that. Is it Good specifically stuff. IU branded? Yeah, it has like IU like stickers and decals stuff on it, uh, but yeah. Have you ever gotten they get that to you and when did that become the takeaway belt? So we just got that. Um, it was for the start of the season, so we got it a couple weeks ago. Um, but we had been talking about it in off season, just to have something to, to sh you know, hold and build energy off of. Seeing Philip grab that for the first time, you know, what, what did that look like? Man, I was happy for him, you know, because he he does it so much in practice. You know, he gives picks all the time in practice, so um, I was happy to see that translate to the game. But you got robbed, right? You should have had it. Right? No. Nah. It's, it's us. It's us. He got it for us. But no, but so. for your, your first fumble, they took oh. it, the rest took it away from you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Would yeah, that be I you or Aaron it. holding it? Oh, yeah. So we had a debate about that. Um, <laughs> it would be me. <laughs> it would be me because of the forcing of the ball out. But he, I said, hey, but what if you were to, like, pick that up and score a touchdown? He said, yeah, we'd both have to hold it up together then. <laughs> Are you so, a big uh, WWE fan? Nah, not really. I never got into it as a kid. Does Vince have any plans to come to Bloomington? Sorry? Does Vince have any plans to come to Bloomington? Uh, I don't know. I know uh, Declan's dad has been here a couple times, but I don't think his grandfather will. Okay. Does Philip get to keep the belt for the whole week now? He's nah, no. <laughs> it's just takeaway by takeaway. Yeah. Where's the belt stay during the week? I don't know, it's probably locked up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.